When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from His wrath. And He apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then He went about His business or perhaps died while we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it, going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me, the way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. The Dark Ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Just <laughs> That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! 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 What's going on here?
Wake up, Artyom. It's me, come. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive. And I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact. Before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyo. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan! I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. are broke down. War was inevitable, they said. And the people believed in a better future. Our leaders put their money on Armageddon. And did D6 save them? No. They couldn't reach it in time. And here, it stood for 30 years until our guys stumbled on it. Everything inside was untouched. Weapons, medicine. <laughs> like finding buried treasure, eh? I suppose it's nice down here since they got the reactor working. Привет, Artyom. Artyom was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, that's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the Order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? Quit whining. It's a gift from your ancestors. Enough to survive down here for decades. Maybe until the world out there will take us back. For me, it still feels like every patrol outside could be the last. Did you hear what happened to Romanov's group? Romanov? I thought he was in the hospital from the attack on the Great Library. Discharged last week, so his squad is... Come on, you have five more sets of 30! <laughs> Look at those two rookies! Pathetic! Doing good! Carry no on. wonder the color or the train attack double! The rest of the group? Sharper. Move sharper. sharper! The marshes are easy. You just look for the markers Keep your back and flags straight. walk along them so you don't drown. A child Take your gun. What could yeah. that be about? Okay, the shrimps always gave you help. But come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanov's alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you're a ranger now, huh? You must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. First things first, you're going to need a gun. You can't make a step on the surface without the gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation's still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. What the fuck is this? What do you mean? No med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advance salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, 
but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants in the metro seems like a thing. Good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. The rangers usually carry up to three weapons, Artyom, and the choice of those is completely up to you. about Lesnitsky? What are you talking about? Check Open with the, the guards at the lab. Squad 44. Shit. What the hell did he do? Opening up. All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. Cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel, 
and wild steeds and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey! I heard that Lesnitsky did something! What happened? Nobody knows! Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone! Shit! So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies, and exits. Still, a basic order green will find it. You guys just came back from the ring. They say cancer is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones close to the fences. Hey, anyone know what the room is about? Take these guys to Miller. Why They've the been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wire. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes. People die at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter. The best of the order is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Colonel, just... Give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna! Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job! Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah. Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close. Too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? 
Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the Devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. Well, we've worn this place out. Let's move. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes, smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno. Yet Khan did find a Dark One there. Now my mission is to find and eliminate it. To finish what I started. In the past, trains were ordinary things. But now, this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things. And their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. Alright, we've reached the station. This is part of the secret Metro 2 line. We haven't explored these tunnels. Can't spare the time or manpower. So don't wander off. I'll try to put some juice on the system and get the lights on. Use your flashlights in the meantime. Right, you ready? Let's go. Watch yourself, the doors are closing. Good luck. Yeah, we'll need it. Didn't you and my father take the monorail when you went out to fire the missiles at the Dark One's nest? That's a good sign, Rabbit. Maybe we'll have luck with this mission too. Power's working. Open the gate. I'll cover the passage. Great. You did fine after all. All clear. Move out. All right, the map shows a collector entry point ahead. Move, I'm following. Go right, there's a dead end on the left. Something alarmed me. Stay sharp.
That thing's fast. I don't think we'll run into anything serious here. Great. The ladder. It's just a little more walking. Then we'll see if you're a rabbit or a man. Surface. Put your mask on. Quit looking at my ass. It's way out of your reach, rabbit. Give me a hand here. Let's go to the main entrance. There's a good shooting position there. I can cover a lot of territory. You're supposed to be immune to there. What? Influence? Well, I don't have your gift. So hop along, rabbit. Head on in and look for the creature. I'm thinking that since the dark ones are so fond of you, it'll sense you, or smell you, or whatever the fuck they do. And come from hiding. Just try to stay in the open so I can cover you. We'll maintain radio contact. And if you have second thoughts, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay then. Good luck.
Still warm. Guten Morgen. <laughs> The creature I met in the burnt-out remains of the gardens looks like a dark one. And it was able to enter my mind, dragging the innermost out of me. But it was also just a baby. And I am sure that it recognized me. And got scared. It also left me knocked out for some time. Just enough for me to get captured. These prisoners were captured at the botanical gardens. Seems like they were looking for something. These two are red. They refuse to speak. The third one looks like a ranger of the order. A mutant the size of a child was caught near him. It was delivered to Reich as well. I'll deal with it later. This one. Suspected mutation. No, no, I'm normal. See, two arms, two legs, ten fingers. Don't you understand? I'm a Hansa citizen. Shut up! You're not in Hansa. Here you are a suspect in the distribution of corrupted genes. And this is your trial. If your skull has the correct proportions, you are free to go. If not, you are an abomination. Science, you see. This is an outrage! I told you to stay still! Well? Let's see. 318 millimeters by... <laughs> 302. Let's walk it up in the table. Ah, congratulations. You're a mutant. No, no. No, the garbage should. A simple question. What was your mission in the gardens? Go to hell yourself, Nazi. I'm gonna count to three. One. Glory to the red line. Two. Long live Comrade Lofkin. Three. Please! Please, I'll, I'll talk! I'll talk! But, but, but away from the other side, they'll kill me if they hear, okay? Take this one to the second unit. Usually, Reich does not interfere with the Order's business. But here, we have you, the Reds, and the Freak, all caught in the same net. I do not like it. So talk, or take a bullet to the brain. Get the officer! Hey, you! Here. You keep the knife. Keep it. So, uh, we are with the Spartan Order. I'm from the Red Line. Uh, our superiors are not on the best of terms, huh? But I say, fuck that! Look, no, fuck that! The grunts stick together, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. I see. Oh, ты, ты смотри. Remotely controlled lock. One thing's for sure: our only chance of getting out of this alive, work together. Right. Now, what did they say about the garbage shoot? Okay, 